can see the look of, the grimace of pain for that first riff. Yeah. <laughs> he's staring right into my soul right now. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. He's like, as he's playing. Uh, I don't think there's any instruments in here. Right. I don't know what's going on here. This episode is brought to you by Sheet Happens, where you can buy guitar and bass tablet your books edited and approved by the artists themselves. Head over to their website at sheethappenspublishing.com and use code word DEAN at checkout for 15% off. Hey, my name is Dean Lamb. I play in a band called Arch Spire. Yeah, it's like an extreme death metal kind of band. I play an eight string guitar, this eight string keyso guitar. So we just put out a new album on October 29th of this year, 2021. We have not put out an official tab book yet, but that hasn't stopped people from learning stuff by ear. A lot of our fans are musicians, which is very cool. Some of those musicians have picked up tabs that are online or tabs that you can get over at sheethappenspublishing.com. Use Cobra Dean for 15% off. And you can find plenty of people on YouTube that have covered some of our songs on guitar, bass, drums, vocals. Pretty amazing to watch. So I'm just gonna watch a few of those today. And yeah, I'm stoked to watch them, so let's check them out. First, we're gonna start with Xena Wolf. Let's fucking check them out. All right, this is a song called Drone Corpse Aviator. This is the first track on the new album. Uh, the new album is called Bleed the Future, by the way, so if you like what you hear, check it out. Great, okay, so this thing that he's doing here is something that Toby, the other guitar player of the band, started doing it's called high, uh, gravity picking I'll show you, I'll show you how to do it in a second here this is pretty much spot on which I don't know how um, I've played this song on stream a couple times maybe that's yeah he's playing a little bit differently than me <laughs> okay I'm gonna try and play along a little bit to him <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much spot on. I played better than me. <laughs> he's doing both guitar parts. Let's see how he does the solo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the solo, uh... Ah, that's a tough solo. All right, he nailed it better than I did. He's playing the same guitar I used to play all the time. Ibanez RG triple two eight. Oh yeah, the, the gravity tapping thing, uh, gravity picking. So it's basically you take your pick and you go. I don't know exactly the riff at the beginning because that's Toby's part, but uh, it sounded like this dude, uh, Xeno Wolf, nailed it. This is kind of the hardest part of the song right here. Yeah, he's playing very differently than we do. This one's Toby's part, so I actually don't even know this. His right hand is really fast. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you fucking killed it. All right, Xeno Wolf. Thanks, buddy. All right, up next we have, and I've seen one of this dude's videos before, uh, RC01, so I've seen one or two of his. He's going for it. He's doing songs that haven't been out for very long. They've been out for a week and a half. This dude is a fan of the band. Or he's just a very, like, bored person. <laughs> I'm sure that he's a fan of the band because, yeah.
That's a tough rift too. This riff is is very strange. He's playing a little bit differently than I would. Okay, so the riff actually looks like this. That's what the riff looks like-ish. He's playing with tapping, which is pretty crazy, but um, yeah, a little bit differently than what I would do. It's like an origin-y kind of part, if you're familiar with Van Origin. I mean, I think you're killing it, dude. I don't know if that was pain in his eyes or enjoyment, I, I don't know. He's playing it all on a seven string, which is actually, uh, this song, you you can get away with it, but not all of them. I mean, you can always adjust it and make it work for a seven string, but to play the actual recorded notes. This is obviously uh, Lacrimosa by Mozart that we ripped off. This guy's killing it, dude. Yeah, very, very close to what we played. Yeah, super close. Nature. Man. Killer. Uh, great job, RC01. All right, next we have a short little guy from uh, Blank Epitaph practicing that one lead in Archspire AUM. <laughs> That's <laughs> sick. Oh, close. Yeah, great. Yeah, there's only one difference between what he plays and what I play is, I, instead of doing the tabbing. That's a fast one, dude. Everything else is pretty much spot on. Killer job. All right, cool. Blank epitaph. Let's watch that one more time. That's cool. Maybe the fastest lead that I play on that album. That part right there. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, up next we have uh, How To Guitar. Well, he covered this early, right as soon as it came out. Wow, good for you, dude. Let's see what happens. Great job. Fucking really early, man. You can see the look of, the grimace of pain for that first riff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're getting those pinch harmonics in there too. Fucking sounds pretty good. That's a fun riff to play, dude. It's just... Just a fun riff. Let's check out the clean section. Oh, he's going different places than I would. All right, sweet. Solid right hand, dude. Yeah, those chords are big in there. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Oh, cool. That sounds sweet, too. That's Toby's solo. Okay, that sounded cool too, a bit of a different phrasing. Man. Yeah, I mean like, you covered it like, I don't even know, days after it came out. Fucking nailing it, bro. Good job. And then we have an older song by Stefano uh, D'Angelo, a song called Lucid Collective Sound Ambulation, but he put it on a six string, so I don't know how this is gonna go. We'll see. Intro easily played on a six string. This is a, this is a fast guy. Intro is cool. Oh yeah. Great. 
That 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 riff is is not not super easy. Not super easy. So yeah, he's doing with less motion than I am actually. Sweet. Let's see what happens with this solo here. The sweeping. Bard sweeps sound good. Oh my god, man. He's got Shrek on the table there. He's got a lot of booze here. Lots of booze on the counter, on the shelf. And he has a Himalayan salt, salt lamp. Really interesting. Yeah, I mean, this guy has the tab. You try playing the solo after drinking any of that booze. It's, I, I wouldn't be able to do it personally. Great job, buddy. Stefano, great job, man. Let's check out um, this one, which is maybe weird. Uh, I don't think there's any <laughs> instruments in here. Right. I don't know what's going on here. I saw a clip of this right before I started. I think he's just really just hitting a desk, which is... Now he's, now he's hitting us. I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, solid, solid cover. Thanks for the cover, buddy. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah. I mean, it's, I watched it and you made it. And now we both have to live with that. Our last dude is Spencer Sudek and he has a seven string guitar of some make and he covers three of our songs in one video. Okay, so this is Involuntary Doppelganger. This is a fast one. It's not necessarily fun to play. Let's hang out with Spencer a little bit and let's play part of the song with him. All right, Spencer, are you ready to play the song? With him? <laughs> pretty sick. He's not even looking in his guitar, which is pretty sweet. Well, I would say he's doing a great job, but he has long hair and I'm bald, so therefore I have to hold something against him. Um, he could be looking more bored <laughs> while playing this music. Is this all a one take? Yeah. One take, wow, okay. So this dude just sat down with these three songs and just played front to back all three of them, I think. I've never seen anybody else do that, except for, you know, us, the guys in the band who are forced to do it uh, in order to pay our rent. And, uh, and I don't suggest anybody else really doing that, to be totally honest. He's staring right into my soul right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why, he's like, as he's playing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he's playing Toby's parts. Yeah, that's cool. This is when Toby had a seven string. What a cool melody too. The harmony between the two parts. I don't hear that part very much. He switched now to playing, uh, playing that low part, I think, on his eight string. I, I could be wrong, maybe he did. Oh yeah. You know what? This guy's a Toby lover, I don't know. I used to like our friend Spencer here, but now he's a Toby lover? Sort of feel a bit betrayed. But anyway, uh, Spencer, you fucking nailed it. Buddy. If you're watching this video, thanks. Try to look a little bit more bored next time when you're playing our notoriously hard to play music. And if you want to learn how to play this stuff, uh, head over to sheethappenspublishing.com, use my code word Dean for 15% off at checkout and pick up the new tab book or one of the books that are available right now as I'm filming this. We'll have three available by the time this probably goes up. Us as a band, we appreciate all the support. Just keep staring us deep into our souls while you're playing our music. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Later.